Everybody's life is something that we're, we're really happy to be a part of. That's what they really need. At the Suncoast Community Center, some Halloween fun is providing a small break from what so many are dealing with. We didn't expect to have this many folks out here, but we actually do. And uh, it's great to see the community come out uh, and, uh, and have a little bit of normalcy after you know what they've gone through the last couple of weeks. A bit of normalcy after Hurricane Ian swept through southwest Florida three weeks ago, provided by local organizations offering a little more than kids games and face painting. We're partnering with Liberty Dental and Kano Health and they brought some uh, some health care resources, some mental health and dental resources to us as well, so we can give a little services to the community while we're also having fun. And yet just down the road, some people are still picking up the pieces, some with their homes and some with nothing at all. I just pray I get back in my house quick. People like Deborah Kopp, who lost her home to Hurricane Ian. Me and my husband are living in a tent right now, and I need my oxygen tank and I'm doing better. I mean, I just go day to day. While so many have dealt with heavy personal loss, it's hard not to appreciate the scene of families having a night to exhale and smile. So much work has been put into this so soon after this disaster. I mean, these kids needed something. And even after this night, there's still hope for a brighter tomorrow. We are Southwest Florida strong. We will come back. In Suncoast, Calvin Lewis, Fox 4.